Te just tell us about the Brahmos now, whether or not it's happened or not, we'll wait for uh, an official confirmation. But the Pak Foreign Ministry said that Brahmos missiles was used, cruise missiles was used. But the Pakistanis also used the Fatah too. So let's try and understand, compare, contrast the Fatah too and Brahmos. How did Brahmos happen and what are the capabilities of the Brahmos? Uh, you see, Brahmos is a cruise missile and uh, its range uh, varies from 300 to 800 kilometers. Uh, we have uh, different applications of uh, different versions of the BrahMos. Uh, we have land-to-land -land version, uh, we have land-to-ship, we have ship-to-ship, ship-to-land, and we can launch uh, BrahMos from uh, Sukhoi 30 aircraft also mm. against uh, land targets and uh, sea targets. Mm. What Pakistani have used is a strategic missile. Mm. Uh, it is a ballistic missile having a conventional payload uh, and uh, it is reported that it was uh, headed towards uh, Delhi. Delhi. And our air defense system has proved that uh, they can uh, deny any air attack to our adversaries. Hmm. We we'll get to the gradients of the air defense system because many have been taken by surprise of that uh, because of that in a bit. But let's talk about Brahmos, the payload that it has as a cruise missile. Are there various gradients and uh, how? Did the whole process of developing the Brahmos happen or is this the first time that it's also been pressed into service if it has been used? Uh, first, I would like to tell you that we have conducted more than 130 tests of Brahmos in various configurations. Uh, it includes uh, development test as well as uh, the flight test for users validation. Hmm. Apart from this, uh, Brahmos is a cruise missile. Cruise missile means uh, it can take uh, a trajectory like an aircraft. Uh, it can go for low high trajectory, it can go for uh, low high low trajectory, it can go for low 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 trajectory and uh, being a uh, cruise missile, uh, it can uh, fly over, a surf over the surface of water uh, about uh, at the altitude of about 5 to 10 meters. 10 meters. So then yeah. it's very difficult to be detected by radar. Yes, it's hmm. very difficult for uh, any ship-based radar to detect it. Hmm. Uh, in fact, uh, what happens, uh, the, because of the curvature of the earth, uh, enemy ships can see the Brahmos only about uh, 2 to 3 kilometers away. Hmm. It gives them about uh, 12 to 15 seconds to, to react. Re react. Uh, we always say that uh, we always give uh, uh, some time to our enemy to say their final prayers. Hmm. Uh, we call it jokingly. Hmm. Uh, but uh, the Brahmos has a capability to reach anywhere. Hmm. And uh, the beautiful thing about this missile is it's very accurate. Uh, it's accurate to the pinpoint level. Hmm. And uh, it is uh, different than the ballistic missile in the sense. Ballistic missiles means the way you throw stone in the air hmm. and it comes down to the enemy territory. The trajectory hmm. it follows is called a uh, ballistic trajectory. Hmm. This, uh, the, the one which was coming towards Delhi, uh, Fateh 2, hmm. which Pakistanis have fired, it was a, uh, it was a uh, ballistic missile. And uh, coming to the air defense, hmm. what yeah. happens? We, we'll talk about air defense in a bit. I just okay. want to talk a little more on Brahmos. Yeah. On Brahmos, you said it's a cruise missile. So what are the speeds and what is the distance that it can cover? Yeah. So if, uh, let's say hypothetically, that the Nur Ali Khan airbase was uh, struck by a Brahmos missile, from where, uh, what is the distance it would have traveled and at what speeds would it have traveled? Yes. Uh, the Brahmos the Hypothetically missile, is the operative word. Yes. Uh, the Brahmos missile is having a range uh, from 300 km onwards. Hmm. Now what happens if you integrate uh, Sukhoi on Sukhoi uh, 30 MKI, hmm. then the range is immaterial hmm. because the Sukhoi can fly up to 3400 km and if you do the fueling, refueling, hmm. uh, then uh, the range goes to 5,000, 5,500 kilometers. So when it comes to the Brahmos, uh, the Brahmos range is, it depends upon the range of Sukhoi 30 MKI. Hmm. Now coming to the warhead, hmm. it uses a conventional warhead. Hmm. It is not nuclear. It's not nuclear. Not nuclear. And uh, this missile can destroy uh, I want to give you an example. Right. Uh, if you take a ship, right. we have taken a discarded ship of Indian Navy 
uh, while testing our missile and uh, it was about 4500 uh, ton of steel okay uh, within four and a half uh, minutes uh, we could reach to uh, around 300 kilometers and uh, on impact the ship was broken into two pieces and got sunk in about two two and a half minutes two and a half minutes so you're this saying this is the power of missile. so that means they should be traveling at what three three point five mark speed it, it travels at the speed of 2.8 mach 2.8 mach so it, just below three times the sound of speed yes. mark is the sound of speed the sound barrier yes. so one mark or mark one is uh, at the speed of sound mark two is twice the speed of sound 2.8 is nearly three times the speed of sound that's the speed that uh, the cruise missile takes yes. and you said that 400 4500 tons of steel was split into two on impact Yes. So, if such a missile, one missile like this, were to impact, say, an air base, what is the kind of de destruction that it can inflict? Uh, it can cause huge damage to the runways. Uh, all the air bases are having command and control centers. They have radars. Uh, they have power generation units, and uh, they have uh, the assets uh, to house uh, the aircrafts. So, all these can be destroyed hmm. uh, by this uh, missile. No. Uh, okay, how easy or difficult is it to transport this missile? Is it very heavy to uh, put to cart, to ship and also to mount? You said it can be mounted on a Sukhoi, that is so there is air to surface, it can be carried or launched off a ship, so it is uh, say sea to surface, sea to air. So how easy or difficult is it to move this? Uh, you see, although the weight of the missile is about 2,800 kilograms, uh -huh. uh, but for Sukhoi 30 it's about 2,200 kilograms. Uh, we have uh, all the material handling equipments to load the missile onto Sukhoi and uh, it uh, doesn't take more than 10-12 minutes hmm. to load a Sukhoi with a fresh missile. And uh, uh, you see the material handling is not an issue. Hmm. The main issue is uh, engaging a target, reaching there successfully and ensuring that the destruction take place. Hmm. So uh, the data of the target is already fed by the pilot and once uh, he reaches in the desired position and uh, then mm. he releases the missile towards the target mm. and uh, once a target is uh, locked engaged mm. locked mm. then the missile will go on its own to the target, target. news18.com marches way ahead of the times of india with 38 percent more users on native and social platforms network 18 the undisputed leader of news networks way ahead of the times